Hello everyone, this is Gamer Zach, and welcome back for more Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we completed Sirena Beach, and in this episode, we're gonna go into Rico Harbor, a place we've already been to, so that we can get 100% there. Let's get started. Mission 3, the Cage Shine Sprite. This, this shine is kind of straightforward, actually. It is not really too complicated. It's basically like a standard platforming all the way to the top so that you can get the shine sprite that's in the cage. I never would have guessed that it was inside a cage. OMG spoilers. So basically what you want to do, you want to go up here. Um, you're supposed to grab onto that candy cane weird thing. And, but I recommend doing this is much faster. Then you can just go over here, and these enemies here, you can only kill them from the other side. So, there's not really much point in killing them. Here, you actually do have to grab onto it, like this. But as you notice, you'll slide down, it's not like a tree trunk. Because it's very, uh... I can't think of a word. Wow. Usually I have vocabulary that's at least decent. And now today, look what's happening. Um... See, it's basically like a standard platforming mission, you know, you got all the catwalks. It's a big throwback to Super Mario World. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just, it's just platforming to the goal. Like a standard, it's like a 3D Mario level, except you have flood, which makes it easier. And by the way, this is a shortcut. This isn't the intended way. And, uh, uh, air! I hate air. I don't care if you let me breathe, I hate you. And here's where you unlock the rocket nozzle for Rico Harbor, right here in Mission 3. You're gonna want this, okay? It's going to help you get to the end so fast that you are going to like it a lot after this. Even if you like it a lot, you will like it even more. Doesn't matter. So we jump up here. Jump up here. Um, oh, whoa, 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 that was close. Um, air, stay away from me! Get away! Oh, God! And we go out here without using the thing at all. Wow. And we take damage, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much it to this mission. It's a very simple, straightforward mission. I'll see you on the next mission. Rico Harbor, Mission 4, The Secret of Rico Tower. It has the word secret in it. Guess what that means? Yep. Another floodless level inside that tower right there. So. It's very simple how you gotta get there. Um, basically, gotta go here, hover up here, get onto the to the very top of this boat right here on this exhaust, whatever this is. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, great vocabulary. Just go up here and search. Oh. I said. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Charge straight in. What? I hit my head on the air? What? Did, did I seriously just hit my head on the air? What? Don't do what I just it, did, audience, or you will hit your head on the air so hard that you will get, like, some form of concussion, whether it be minor or major. Air, you don't want to mess with it. Seriously, it will knock you off catwalks, it will give you concussions, you name it. Um, this can be a little bit annoying, see that you have these twisty turning platforms. We may have seen a couple of them before if you follow along the episodes, not the menus. One up right here. It's a very simple secret mission or floodless level. I call the secret missions the two secret missions that you have to do. Well, there is a secret mission here as there are in all floodless levels if you revisit them. So, anyway, I need to stop saying anyway. We're in the last part of this. We just need to- Whoa! I am like cheating the hell out of death. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Another one up. Yay! So if I screw up, it won't matter. My game will not be over. Whoa! This really big platform that spins around. Followed by a really small platform that spins around. And here we are finally at the end. I hit my head on the air. That makes just about as much sense as... Uh. Rico Harbor, Mission 5, Gooper Blooper Returns! Yep, it's been a whole 11 episodes and now, reused boss. Except he's on the landing instead of where he normally is. 
So this one's actually a little bit tougher than the last one simply because of the platform. You know, you can you can fall off of it. Like when you when you extend his tentacles at full because you know you have to rip them off. Um you're pretty much like at the edge of the platform, so you really want to watch out for that. Um can I get on the platform, please? Pretty please. Pretty please with a cherry on top. Yay! Yay! This game isn't as bad as everyone says it is. Seriously, this game gets terrible reviews, and I don't know why. I can understand. Things, like certain things, like reused bosses and an overabundance of red coin missions, but I don't think that's enough to call it a bang game. Alright, I guess we're taking the water route there. Which is actually quite simple. You basically have to jump here. Get on the submarine. Go over here onto the log. Um, I have to fall in the water. Yep. Go onto the log. And then get the rocket nozzle here. Get it here. Use the rocket jump. And here it is. Gooper Blooper Revisited! Oh crap, we're already- Oh wow, whoa, whoa, what just happened? He's gonna do that. And like the- like the previous fight! Come on, dude. Can I please at least explain stuff to my audience? I mean, seriously. Literally, he made me forget what I was saying. I- I kid you not. Come on, just die. Die. I don't care about what I was saying before, just die. Now I get to rip off your nose! Ha, I got your nose! Ah, uh, I really got it. And now he is uber pissed. So that was a little bit of slime, so it's not really my... Like, it kind of limits your movement if you don't take time to clean it up, but you can't really do that too much because he's always going to be whipping his tentacles at you, as suggestive as that sounds. So there's one after that. It's kind of creepy how his how his appendages still squirm after, like it's been detached from the body. It's kind of like a War Masters from Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker or from any Legend of Zelda game, really. What the hell? Okay, just just kill you, I guess. There we go. Yay, he's dead. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Did you see that? He disappeared upon touching the water. Seriously, go back and watch that. As soon as he touched the water, he disappeared. That makes just about as much sense as... Let me think of something good. Um, That makes just about as much sense as card games on motorcycles. There. Nailed it right there. Rico Harbor. Mission 6. Red coins on the water. This mission can be a little bit cumbersome for, for certain things. Like, it's cumbersome for all the wrong reasons, there. Because, we have to go blooper surfing again. Basically what we have to do is we have to go around collecting 8 red coins on the blooper. And guess what? Time limit, yep. For this I recommend taking the green blooper because it's the slowest, so therefore it has better handling. So you're guaranteed to, nearly guaranteed to get the red coins. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, this is going on quite easily. Or quite quickly, actually, or whatever. Um, I just, just read for the pep. Wow, as soon as I say it's going easily, nope. I'm not getting the easy way out, nope. Never gonna happen for Gamer Zach. And here I am just going in circles, wasting precious time. So, I know I missed a red coin back there. Let's get this one for... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back. Wow, as soon as I compliment it, it just has to screw me over. Jump here. Wow, that is some... Wow. Just why? And, th see, that is a reason... That, that, is a, that is a wrong reason. That is, seriously, why this mission is so hard. Or just cumbersome, really. Because you can just barely miss a red coin. Then, you ha then the time it takes for you to turn yourself around and get it... Is just the equivalent of missing the coin itself because you're on a time limit. Um. Oh, I just missed it! If you crash into a wall, you die, so yeah, again. Hard for all the wrong reasons. So come on. Let's get that. Um, I'm not gonna make it, am I? No, I'm not. Six. 
Alright, this one you gotta kinda trick out. Oh, boom, 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 boom! I'll trick it out in a little bit. 18 seconds, I wanna get that last red coin over there. Second to last, actually. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Oh, God! Clock is ticking! Clocks don't really sound like that, but whatever. Come on! 3, 2, 1! <gasps> what was the time? I'm gonna die as soon as it goes back because I'm. I... Boy, 22 seconds! And this is another reason why this is kind of cumbersome. You have to collect the shine while still on the blooper. Yeah. Try to beat my time of 0. 0.22 seconds. Oh my gosh, how did I win just that little time? When I had no hope left, I just, just got the red coin. Oh my god. That is one for the books. That is one for the books. Rico Harbor Mission 7, Shadow Mario Revisited. Or for like the fourth time, even though they expect you to do it in the order as if this is the second place you go to, because it kind of is. So here he is, Shadow Mario Revisited. Here he is, standing right there, minding his own beeswax. We come up to him and spray water in his face. I will admit this is one of the tougher um, Shadow Mario chases because he goes on the catwalks. So it can be kind of cumbersome to catch him. Um, I didn't want to... So sometimes what I recommend... Do well, actually, I can't do it from here. Um, sometimes... Just spraying him from afar. Like Jafar. Eh, the most excellent Disney movie ever. Yes, Jajenja Jenja is the most excellent Disney movie ever. Um, come on, where is he? Where is that little brat? And yes, he is a brat because he's Baby Bowser. And if you're just tuning in to see this, I feel so sorry for you that I spoiled it. And that was it? Okay, Shadow Mario, you have you are starting to lose my respect. I thought you were like the most awesome thing when I started playing this game. When it first came out in 2001. You are starting to lose my respect. We're gonna do one more mission today for the sheer fact that a lot of the missions in Rico Harbor are very short. So mission 8, Yoshi's Fruit Adventure, you have to have Yoshi unlocked before you do this or else you cannot complete the mission. So what you have to do, basically you have to go over to where you fought Gooper Blooper on the first fight. Eh, sorry, pause there. No, laptop, we're in the sleep mode, and no, I need it to record. Didn't lose any data though. I just want to see what's going on. Um, anyway, enough about my capture card. Let's talk about Super Mario Sunshine, which is what I should be talking about, what I should have been talking about these past, like, thir 12, 13 episodes. Um... So what we have to do, we need to look at what fruit Yoshi wants. I believe he's always going to want a durian of all things. Seriously, those things hurt. Ever tried biting into a durian? That, that, that it hurts. Alright, what you have to do, basically you need to get on this on this thing here. Ground pound it. Gourd. Nope. You gotta hover over to the other one. This is, basically the fruit dispenses is completely random, so you could be here. This could take anywhere from three seconds to like a whole minute. Pineapple! Let me guess, because I am recording, this is going to take as long as it possibly can, huh? Did it not dispense a... Like I said, as long as it possibly can. A coconut. So far, it has given me, like, every fruit except dur durian! Don't fall off the ledge! Did you just... Where'd you go? Where's the durian? Don't tell me I... Uh, this sucks! Gotta find another durian! from square one. Look, I'm going to have to cut ahead until I get a durian. Seriously, I need a freaking durian. I'm starting... Seriously, I'm gonna run out of water before I find a durian. And of course the game has to make me wrong and put it just in the right place. 
that I am able to give it to Yoshi. Of course, I can't go any other way. I always have to be wrong. Um, let me see. Um, uh, yes, you do want this color of Yoshi because when you spray enemies, they basically turn into platforms. I know it makes perfect sense. If you if it's purple, it'll basically go in a certain direction. If it's orange, it'll stay in the same place. If it's pink, it'll just go up. I personally recommend purple for this because it lets you get over to these platforms real easy. Um, come on. Whoa, perfect. I timed that like perfectly. Oh, come on! I ha I was holding the A button. Why didn't he flutter? All right, let's try this again. Give him the durian. He's such a stuck-up little dinosaur that he does that he will not accept any other type of fruit. That's what screwed us over in mission three of Sirena Beach. Seriously, all because that jerk was blocking our way to the pool, and because Yoshi wanted a pineapple, the one thing that the store didn't sell. Okay, come on, take us over there. Uh, this is the one part of the mission that just. Uh, Seriously, this mission isn't hard, and of course, as soon as I say that, I'm having the longest time trying to complete it, just giving me hell. Um, we can jump onto here! Pretty loud shout. Um, I'm not sure if we can... I'm not sure if we can get our way from here onto the platform, let me just spray this. Oh no, maybe not. Yep. So here we are, let's get this sprayed. And unfortunately, because it's in a cage, we cannot collect it with Yoshi! Oh god. Oh god, this this mission is just scary because for whatever reason you cannot pound these when you're on Yoshi. I believe that get off of him you press X. Oh yeah! And <laughs> look at Yoshi's glitching. What? I didn't wanna... So let's click the shine and that'll be the last one for today. So next time on Super Mario Sunshine we're going to finish Rico Harbor. So without further ado I say to you stay tuned.